I walk into the studio every morning, I give the message of let's think of what we can do instead of what people tell us we can't do. You do? Yes. I watched how you handled Nancy Grace. And I thought you guys, <laughs> you were very graceful. Yeah. You know, you really, you were, you were classy. Unlike, like you saw when she had, she was so nice to me right before the camera went on. Like, I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Right. Because you know? she was so nice. I took a picture of her head to diamond cut her everything. If I didn't know what Before the show. Before the show. What did you think of her after the show? I wanted to kill her. Did you? Did you <laughs> yeah, right? I wanted nice. to choke her out, you know. My wife just looked at me and went, like, she's shaking her head like, no, because I was so pissed. How far into the interview did you realize, ugh? Oh, pretty quickly. Oh. As soon as this steroid, I mean, right, well, she just started talking. She started talking about the steroid scandals and blah, blah, blah. Like, wait a minute. That was 25 years ago. Right. DDP <laughs> was on the show where she was talking about the Ultimate Warrior's death. That's what we confronted her on on the show. You did. I didn't know any of this stuff. Sam knew all of it. Yeah. And she brought up, like, she's, like, listing the wrestlers that have died. And she puts, like, Owen Hart, who died, you know, in, in the ring. Right. And and, and like you know, all guys who died of gunshot wounds and just stuff that had nothing to do, and lumping it all in with and, that. And, exactly. And think about his kids and wife at that time. Like, right. What the like? I, I wondered like because they are the nicest people, and for for Warrior to come back, you know, and I was just so happy that everything was fixed beforehand that happened, so he could be put in the spot that he deserved to be in. Right. And uh, you know, I thought we were going to talk about you know the time like. Imagine this. I'm, it's WrestleMania six. I'm the driver for the honky tonk man in a pink Cadillac. Like the car, my pink Cadillac convertible got the gig, not me. So that's how you got the gig as the driver because you had a pink car. Exactly. Wow. Pink, a pink, it was Luke the Bushwhacker's good buddy of mine. He came by my club and he saw the, uh, <laughs> you know, he saw the, you know, the, the convertible. And he's like, dude, I think I can get you uh, on, at Mania. I'm like, seriously? I just want to go. Right. You know, and I'm already Diamond Dallas Page, but for this day, I'm going to be Diamond Dallas chauffeur. What kind of club was it? Um, the club I had was a dance club. Oh, strip club. No, no. Oh, okay. No, and I mean like dancing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Partying. Oh, okay. <laughs> if I would have grown up in the strip club business, I would have been so fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm, I'm like sad and glad at the same time. Uh -huh. But um, I, I, man, man, that, at that mania, Hogan and Warrior are the main event. Right. So now let's go eight, ten years later, uh, excuse me, eight years later. Eight years later, and now I'm the main event with Goldberg, and I'm sharing it with Warrior and Hogan wow. with WCW. So when Warrior comes in, like he calls for, you know, he has someone get me and Goldberg. Mm -hmm. And we go to see him, and he was so cool, he was so gracious, and he goes, I want you guys to know. You're the reason why I'm doing this. I see you guys having so much fun. I wanted to be part of the fun again. Wow, like that was that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, because no, that's right. great. And, and, and Warriors, the guy who at the time was bitter about the business, so the fact yeah. that he saw that it was fun again. Yes, he's like, I want to go back and have a good time. Like he wanted, he liked it, and he, you know, because he, you know, he loved it growing up and the whole deal. But you know it, that that we were a part of helping him want to do that. Like that's what I wanted to talk about. Is that what they brought you in saying that you were going to talk well, about? You know how they they always. You know, they tell you one thing, and you you assume because of what happened, they're going to have some memories of the warrior. That I didn't really think. Soon as she started, I thought, "Oh my god, dude, you're on TV with Nancy Grace now, like the killer." Yeah, so she can be a sweetheart. You've seen her be that too. Right. I thought that was one of these things, especially they, when she was a she was a fan. Well, they say she's a pig in sheep's clothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of wool. Wow. <laughs> wow. That was. Stiff. I would say that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look, she went on, like, The View and all the shows after she did our show and acted like this sweet lady was the victim of everything. Like, she was just bombarded. She walked in here, and Jim and I just completely just... Didn't she talk about it? Yo, oh, yeah, she was. <laughs> Self high five! Yes. <laughs> She's a, what a baby she was, though. What she went a on, baby. She no, went on The View, and she called us Beavis and Butthead. Oh, yeah. It's the best. All, all bullies, no matter what, they can't take being bullied. Right. And you weren't even bullying him. You were just asking for some facts. Like, let me call you on your shit. Yeah, right. It was all, it's yeah. all, you, were, you were both 
like I was like, wow, these guys are really doing this nicely. Yeah. But you know, you know, she knew right away. Oh my God, they're doing to me what I do to people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, for, for a real griller of uh, in interviews, she fucking collapsed fast. <laughs> like she was, was looked like she was willing to fight. Like she's definitely ferocious. But then she just ends the interview and leaves. It was right, like, what I'm are you doing. Yeah, yeah, and you're on TV, so you can't exactly when you're on her oh, show, that, you can't. That's that's what I'm thinking. Right. Sam. I'm thinking if I get up and walk away. I'm going to embarrass the business. Right, because it That's makes it look I'm like thinking. you are on drugs and won't tell anybody about it. Right. So you so can't. I'm just breathing and saying, and I remember talking about it because I said it then. I've said it numerous times. WWE has the the highest standard of policy, like, for drugs and everything. Like, because of so many guys have gone down, mm-hmm. you know, over the years, they're, they have the strictest policy, way stricter than the NFL. Right. Or the MLB, like, way stricter. You got some you got some painkiller in you somewhere? You better have, like, the exact reasons, the doctor, everything. And they're just, the guys today, they don't do pills. Right. My day Everybody did, you know, and you know, again, today these guys are they're not out partying all night long. I'm not saying they don't party, but not like we did, you know, they're playing video games or on computers, and you know, it's just a different generation, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm happy for them because there's a lot of amazing athletes out there, you so know? she ambushed you basically, based, yeah, I, again. Again, but so nice before Jim. Like, so what do you what do you do after the show? Like what do you do once once the segment's over and she goes, Well, thank you, Dallas, for joining us. Uh, I you know, I I don't remember what I said, but I know I said something in a way of like, go fuck yourself, but I didn't say that. Right. I said it very clearly. Language, language, this is my house. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. I just knew knowing the internet. Yes. I knew the fallout what was about to come. Right. Because you remember I went and did your show oh, yeah. right after that. You did, and you yeah. dropped the you dropped the C bomb on her. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Uh, yo, you know the C bomb. <laughs> I'm not as bad today. He goes he goes like the and he was like he was like, I don't even want to talk about it because I remember you're like, Sam, I'll talk to you about it. <laughs> but I'm not talking to anybody else about it after this. And I didn't. I and, didn't. And you go you just and I didn't see it coming. <laughs> but Dallas looks at me and he goes, Sam, I'll tell you, Nancy, she she was a cunt. <laughs> I, was like, yes. I was so I was so mad because again, the fallout that came on the internet, and I was more worried and concerned with the family. Forget me, you know. Forget it. I didn't want them right. to feel that, 